Hello and welcome back to Oxycraft. The last time that we left off, we built that huge, huge, huge farm uh, and I included way too many time lapses. It's been a long time since we did that and quite a few things have changed. Shut up chickens, you are so loud. We've got quite a few chickens now though, so that's pretty good. I've been living off fish though, because we have so many fish. I've done uh, so much fishing and we've got so much stuff. We've got all these books in here now, Power 4, Lure 2, we've got all this magical stuff. We've got a bunch of mending rods, so many of these. I'm thinking, oh, another Power 4 bow, that's not bad either. But we've got so many fish, uh, and I've actually moved everything, as you might have noticed. We now have our own little storage room, which is in here, which is mostly sorted out. But, I mean, if we just have a look at some of these books, Aqua Affinity's awesome, some Power 4. We've got a lot of really cool stuff in here. And now what I should do, Silk Touch book, sh oh, and looting, looting 3 as well. I think it might have to be looting 3. We've got looting too which is kind of nice but uh yeah i'd like a bit of that three what i really wanted to do to start this episode off was um a little bit of enchanting uh, we've got the levels and we've got everything good but i really don't have that much armor i'm quite happy with all my tools got a good sword could be better but maybe we'll add the looting three on we've got some cool picks and axes and other things it's pretty much just my armor that's lacking so i'm just going to enchant it there's probably a ton of things in here that i could use um in fact, maybe it is worth going through and figuring it out at some point, but not today. Today we're just going to enchant. So let's grab some of this stuff. Let's grab some of this stuff. We've still got a block from Shroom. Don't you worry. Today is going to be our payback. But more on that later. Let's go and do this. And whilst I'm doing this, let me tell you. Now, I haven't actually released the video. That's uh, I've been really bad with it this last sort of week. I haven't actually released the video. Um, but at the end of last... Oh, I didn't even need a chest plate. It was the one thing I didn't need. Ah, it's fine. Maybe we'll just go for a whole new set. There we go. So, at the end of the last episode, if you remember, uh, we had a little bit of an issue. Um, and that was that the farm that we built, that's nice, I might go with that. The farm that we built didn't really work. Yeah, I'm going to go with that helmet because that's a pretty cool enchantment. Anything else? Fire protection 3? That's fine. We'll take it. Uh, it didn't work. And so, I went on to the Googles and did some... Ooh, I love Death Strider. Done. And protection 3. I'll take it. Uh, and did a little bit of searching. Oh, that used way more levels than I thought it would. Hmm, maybe I'm misunderstanding how this works. Protection 4 though, that's perfect. And what's this guy? I'm breaking 3. So we're ready to do this. We don't really need this yet though, because we do already have some pretty good options. So let's just hold on to that and let's get prepared. But what I'm trying to say, I'm failing miserably because I haven't done this in ages, is I did some Googling and I did some speaking to people and searching and I spoke to Shroom. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up and show you the progress I've been making on the castle as well whilst I say this. Uh, and it turns out, oh, let's sleep first. It turns out it's all to do with the render distance. Now, for some reason, the server was set to seven, which, fair enough. Um, and I didn't think that would mean anything, but apparently that makes a huge difference. If the render distance... What is going on up here? Oh, a lot of dead things. If the render distance is that low, then the server itself won't actually render areas for mobs to spawn, which of course creates a problem. Um, we only had to turn it up to nine. That's all it took. Uh, and it just started working. So that's all good. Me and Shroom spent quite a while figuring it out. I didn't think it was worth recording because, well, nothing really happened. Is this my chance to get... Oh, hi. I hate these little things. We're going to need to use our knockback. Nope, we killed it. Don't worry. I thought maybe we get a disc. These things, their hitboxes have gone weird. Anyway, let's leave all this alone. Let's go have a look. These, this here is what we've been doing. Um, but yeah, if you've built yourself one of those farms that doesn't work on, on a server, on a single player world, change your rest, render distance above 9 and everything will be okay again. Get out of here. I'm going to kill this guy because otherwise he's going to get me killed. Go back. Yes. Dead. So this is what we've done. It looks so good with these shaders. Oh, man, I love shaders. I'm so glad that 1.9.4 has these back. But it looks really, really cool, and I'm very happy with it. They're not completely finished. I still got a little bit of work to do, and I need to get some caps on. I, I think I'm just going to go like that. I don't think I'm going to go roofs for these front ones. And this here is feeling very, very unfinished as well now, so I need a little roof on there. The plan was, today, to get the insides of one of these towers done. However, I have a better idea. A few episodes ago, a few weeks ago, you may remember that something very purple happened to our place. That's right. Shroom decided that we needed some more fungus. So he turned everything into mycelium. And we said that we would get our own back. Today is the day. All right, let's head over. Now, one thing I have managed to do, because I'm very lazy and I never put him in his little cage. I've managed to lose my horse. I'm not really sure where he went. I've checked around a bit. But I definitely can't find him. 
So that's kind of bad. I need to finish this pathway, but I'm really happy with the way that this is turning out. Once that little middle roof is in there, I think it's going to look really, really, really cool. Uh, so I'm very excited to get that in. But again, a lot of this stuff I'm doing off camera when I can, just when I have some free time, simply because it's it's stuff we've already done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. And I just don't feel like it's going to make for very interesting footage. Now, maybe I'll time lapse some of it if I do anything new or anything interesting. But for now, I think we're just going to kind of roll with it and I'll just keep going off camera but that looks so 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 cool in the distance very 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 nice but yes a lot of cool things have been happening outside of this server so I've spent a lot of time over there um, a few new servers have launched that I've been playing on uh, things are going really cool which I will tell you some more about because I've got some plans for some of them um, but yeah we'll figure that out in the future uh, and also I have another idea do you know what I go on too much about these ideas let's just let's just get on with this stuff I don't feel I feel like that's really mean to leave you on a cliffhammer uh, hammer is it a hammer? I don't think it is though, is it? It's a hanger. But that's fine. Uh, I'm thinking about getting... Oh no, I've fallen into your, your pond. I've had a... Oh. <laughs> oh well, okay. <laughs> I don't know if this... This probably won't be spoiling anything because this will be a few weeks later. But that looks awesome. But that's kind of right where I was planning on doing stuff. But that's fine. I'll figure this out. I'm planning on getting sort of more creative building series going. Um, was kind of where I was going with that last sentence. I feel it was mean just to leave you on that. But cool, I'm gonna need to find a new space and get this planned. So, a few uh, a few further episodes back, Shrew Masters, if we would kindly build him a tree, a custom tree. Of course we will, Shrew, we'd love to. However, since the addition of mycelium to my base, I feel like just building a nice tree would be a bit too simple.
Aha. Well, you didn't specify how big you wanted the tree shroom, although I realize now uh, I'm kind of happy with it. Um, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't really fit. So maybe that's the prank. <laughs> uh, as far as pranks go, maybe not the most vicious, but uh, hey, have a huge tree shroom. And of course, it's not going to be complete without a sign. I'm just saying, I heard that you wanted a tree, but this was the only size that they had left. So I've been thinking, and I was thinking that we've got quite a bit of time left after what was arguably the weakest prank that's ever been happening in the world ever of Minthraft. We might as well do one of these towers. But then I thought, no, 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 no. This is perfect time to redeem ourselves from an awful, awful prank. I don't even know if it's a prank. But I've had an idea, okay? I don't know if he'll cut that tree down. I imagine he will, because it's probably in the way, and he probably liked his oak tree. But I figured we could try something different. Now, let me show you the mechanics here. Let me show you what I'm going for, and then maybe you'll understand where I'm going with it, okay? So this block here, let's imagine that this is this is ground level, okay? So let's imagine that this here is the floor, and this is what we work, this is what we walk around on. Now, everything underneath us, we, we can't see. It's underground. Nobody knows what's going on down there. Okay, that's what you got to imagine. And this here is going to be part of a tree. We're going to go build some of the ugliest trees in the world around there too. We're going to make them super ugly because them, them he's definitely going to cut down. Okay? But I don't want to make it as simple as that. So let me show you what I've got going on here, okay? Now, there probably is an easy way to do this, uh, but this is the way that I've done it, and this is the way I know it works, and so I'm just going to roll with this before mistakes happen and I get in trouble or something similar. But this here, this here is currently powered off, and that is because we have a lever on the bottom of this bottom block here that's powering this dust, which in turn is powering off this torch. Now, if you turn off this lever, that's going to turn off this dust, turn on this torch, and power whatever's in the center here. Now, we just we don't have to just turn off this lever. This will also happen if the lever disappears. So, for example, if Mr. Shroom came over here and decided, I'm going to cut down this tree, that would in turn break the lever and power that block in the center. Now, how can we use this to our advantage? Well, I have, I have an idea, okay? have a very good idea. It involves this little red block here. This is why I wanted to do it the way I've done it here. Because as much as I kind of really would like to, I also don't really want to blow his place up. I feel like that's a step too far. So I've got a little water thing in there. For those of you who don't know, if a TNT or even a creeper explodes in water, it doesn't actually do any damage. So that's why we're doing this. But I'm thinking, if this is underground, just like this, Let's imagine he can't see any of this, and Mr. Shroom comes along and says, Oh, this is the ugliest tree, I can't believe T did such a great prank on me. It's time to cut it down. This is what would happen. Yes. This is my plan. I'm, I would quite like to make a lot of these around in a circle, but I don't know how resource intensive that will really be, and whether it's worth it. But I think the initial shock of him cutting down this tree and then, how did my torch... Wow, that that flew quite away from the, from the blast. Hopefully that's enough to scare him off. So let's go put that in place. So, I have amended a few of the trees for now, but I need to be careful because I want to make sure that he will cut this one down and that he will do it on camera. So, I think we need to be a little bit careful about where we place this and I'll change a few more of these afterwards. But I think the best place for it is going to be right outside this place. Right there. He should be working on this. And so next time he logs in, I imagine this is where he'll come. And if there's a big tree right outside of it, surely that's the first thing he's going to go for. Now, I wanted it to be super ugly. So he, he definitely, definitely, definitely will take it down. And then, then he will be tricked, I guess. Uh oh, somebody's, 
Somebody's talking through the server and I'm really hoping it isn't Shroom. I'm a little bit worried now. I think I'm about to be rumbled. Oh no, <laughs> Shroom has joined the game. <laughs> I can't see his name tag, I'm assuming he's around here. Well, I managed to choose the worst time to do this ever. Um, he's left. Shroom actually came online. Uh, thankfully, I managed to sort of tell him not to come here and he hasn't. He, he knew something was coming. He, he knew a prank was coming. I guess it's probably not a huge surprise, but we're now on 1.10. So we got that going for us, which is, is nice. So that's pretty cool. But this prank is pretty much set up. It's set up exactly how I showed you over there. So I'm going to throw all these guys in and then we're going to make sure I hate this auto jump, but I haven't turned it off yet. I'm going to make sure that I don't um, set it off when I leave. But that should be perfect. I've knocked this out a few times now just to make sure that it's doing what it should do. Get off. 1.10 is out. It certainly is. And we are on it. <laughs> I don't think Tom's realised yet. I don't know if Tom plays Mintcraft anymore. Let's head up. But yes, it certainly was. It was really, really, really quick. But there you go. Mintcraft. Congratulations on the fastest update ever. What do I need? I need a shovel so I can turn this back into um, this so he doesn't realise. I did realise though... Oh, it has to be grass. I realised afterwards. He may catch on by that. I don't have my zoom. I don't have my shaders. I hate 1.10. He may catch on by the fact that there's a gap, but you can't see anything in there. So I'm going to assume he won't realise and just cut it down. I don't really know, but there you go. That's all in place. Let me take this with me as well, because he's not having my crafting bench. Um, and I think, I think we're going to call it good. That one's a little bit weird. A few birch around and this giant thing. These guys are off looking for polar bears, so I think I'm going to call the episode here. I do want to thank you guys very much, of course, for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed it. I'm sorry that that was the weakest prank in the world, but hopefully that one will make up for it. All my sounds are gone once again, because Mintraft doesn't like Bandicam for some reason. But yeah, I'm maybe we'll go exploring 1.10 stuff. They're going to look for some polar bears, and I really like polar bears, so maybe I'll go with them. But yeah, that's going to be it. So next episode, either 1.10 Adventures. I think 1.10 Adventures is going to be the one because it's new and we've got to do it. I think that was only only one snapshot. I haven't got any food. Well, one snapshot, two snapshots and two pre-releases, I think is all they did, which is nice. But I feel like there could have been a lot more. Unless, unless they've stopped going for the loads of stuff in one update and an update every you know, month or so. Either way, it's fine. I love this game regardless. But yeah, that is going to do it for me. So thank you very much for watching. Of course, if you have enjoyed the video, do go ahead, click the buttons, shout at me about how bad my tree was. And yeah, I'll see you next time.